Alright, we are live for Mr. Bauer's math class. Wait. Okay. Similar figures. They look alike. They look alike. Two triangles. One is always bigger than the other. When we say similar figures and tell you they're similar, one is always bigger than the others. Same way with those. Those are quadrilaterals. Why is that a quadrilateral? Adrian. Four sides, and these are triangles. Yeah, triangles, quadrilateral. Any quad, anything with four sides is a quadrilateral. Square, rhombus, rectangle, parallelogram, anything with four sides. Three sides, triangle. And like I said, let me get a written pen. They all, if they're going to tell you they're similar before the que they ask a question, right? But one is always bigger than the other. So I label it big and little, right? Remember in proportions how we set up a key like dollars to cupcakes or uh, loaves of bread to cups of flour? Our key on these is always going to be big over little. Every single time, big over little, when we start comparing them, right? Here's some vocabulary, okay? Th this shape is a triangle, right? You're going to see a math sentence. It's going to say, if, for instance, I don't know if I got enough room here. I'm going to try it. Triangle ABC. That's the name of this triangle because those are the letters, right? Mm -hmm. They put this little line in between. It's squiggly. It's like somebody messed up. It's not straight. It's a squiggly line. That means is similar. That's taking the place of the words is similar. To triangle X, Y, Z. That's a sentence, just like we read in your book there. Triangle ABC is similar to triangle X, Y, Z. So this is like a little key, right? When you see a triangle, you say the word triangle. If I would write another one like this over here, I need to spin my camera around, but you'll see it here in a second. I would put quadrilateral E, F, G, H. It's just a squiggly line. Is similar to quadrilateral W, X, Y, Z. It's just a sentence, all right? But you see the little pictures in front? All right, on to the next one. This one is means angle, okay? If I say, write a sentence like angle A, B, C is similar which angle over there is the same as this one? What would my letters be for that little guy? X, Y, Z. What letter's in the middle? Y. The B, right? B. So that means if I say these two are similar, if this letter's in the middle of this one, whatever letter's in the middle of this one, this angle here is the same as this one here. B and Y are the same. So this would be... Y, Z. We're looking for the one in the middle. The one in the middle. All right. Now let's talk about line. That just means line, and they put it on top. What if I said line B, C is similar to line... What line would be the same one in that one? If I did B, C, that's this one right here, What's y, the same over there? It'd be Y and Z. The, these two letters, right? And these two letters. So it would be Y and Z. Sometimes this is sometimes this is the way they ask the question. Right? This is the way they ask the question. But most of the time, they give you numbers. Let's say this triangle. And I haven't measured it yet. We know they're similar. 
But let's say from A to B is 10 inches. This is 9 inches. Does this look longer? Let's make it 11 inches. <laughs> right? Let's say this one over here is 5 inches, and that's the only thing they tell us we can find how long the other sides are by setting up a proportion. Right? It's this way. Remember, what's my proportion? What's my key always going to be? Big over little. Right? Let's say I want to know how long it is from Y to Z. Remember in our proportion questions, they always tell you something. What do we know for sure about each triangle? What do we know for sure about each triangle? Huh? Someone tell me. We got something on the we got something the same on both of them, right? Which means we got to have a measurement, right? That's the same for not the same, corresponding for both of them. What do you think, Adrian? Which what what can, what numbers can we use? I want to know how far it is from y to z, right? I want to know how far it is from y to z. What's the same line over here in the big triangle? Oop! I put it in the big. I put it in the wrong spot, didn't I? That's got to be on the little. Y to Z. Where's the bit? What do I do on the... What's the same line? Y to Z is these two letters. What's the same two letters in this one? BC. BC. So I'm going to put BC. All right. Now, give me any other sides, but we got to have the measurements for them. Adrian, give me a side that we got the measurements for in both triangles. Y and X, okay, I'm going to put that down here. And Y and X, that's the first two letters, is the same as B and A, right? I'm going to go ahead and put B and A. Looks awful funny with no numbers, right? I'm going back to big over little. Now we're going to put the pieces in the puzzle. Do we know what BC is? How long it is? It's none. Do we know what YZ is? That's our X. That's what we're looking for, isn't it? Do we know what AB, BA is? How much? Ten inches. Do we know what YX is? Five. Does it look like something we can do now? Because yeah. we're only missing one piece, right? Brooklyn, is this what you was going to do? Go ahead and your calculator and do it for me, Brooklyn. We do the butterfly. Always do the X first. That's 10 X's. 9 times 5, sir? 45. And then divide by 10. 4.5 inches. Looks like an 8. Am I on the screen? Yeah. 4.5. <clears throat> so this one is 4.5 inches. Think we could find this one? Yeah. Same way. You want to try it, Brooklyn? No, is it basically just half? Not all of them. Not all of them. I did it to make it easier, right? It could be any different numbers. It, it's never just half. <laughs> never, you know. Some well, I shouldn't say never. This one is, right? But no, don't go by that. Don't go by that. This is called indirect measurement. We're not actually taking a ruler. We're not taking a ruler and measuring 4.5 inches. We're getting the answer indirectly, right? We can do that. You can use this in life. I'm going to take you all on a field trip next week because you're a good class, right? Tape and don't touch that table. Um, so, 
Yeah, indirect measurement. We're not actually taking a ruler and measuring that, but we're doing it indirectly, just by matching up the sides, right? I'm going to spin it around now and get this one up here, and we'll do it one more with the quadrilaterals. I may... Now, you all are good. I think you're good. Yeah, it looks good. Bailey, move a little bit to your left. I mean, yeah. Lexi, move. There you go. You're good. You're good. Come on in. Have a seat. Put your phone away. I'm videotaping. All right. Blake and Lincoln. We're talking about similar figures. Two quadrilaterals here. Quadrilateral because it has four sides. Right? Those are triangles. They've got three sides. Quadrilaterals have four sides. Right? Here's a sentence, just like you're reading a sentence out of a book, Mr. Nicely. You say the shape. Quadrilateral. E, F, G, H. That little squiggly line takes place of the words is, is similar. Is similar to quadrilateral. W, X, Y, Z. Now that we know they're similar, we can find out things about them. When we're talking about similar figures, we always have a big one and one that is smaller. Remember in proportions, how we made our keys, like money over whatever we were buying, grapes or um, cups of flour to cookies, whatever. Your key is always going to be big over little, every single time. So, let's say in this big uh, quadrilateral, um, and this is, let's say, 20 inches. This is 30 inches. Let's make it a parallelogram, right? We just make because now they're all the same. And we'll come over here, and we're going to say this little guy is... Let's do him five inches. That's all we know. That's all we know about that. We can find how long the other sides are now. Just by them telling us they're similar, we can find how long they are. that side is right there. I want to know how long this side is right here. And we can find it. Right? First, Start off with what side you're looking for, right? What side is it, Blake? Give me the two letters that make up that side. The two letters. Yeah. W and X. W and X, okay? Actually, I got ahead of myself. Let's make our key. Let's always do big over little, empty proportion. And we're looking for, in the little triangle, we're looking for W, X. So we got to come over here. WX is the first two letters. What are the first two letters over here? EF. EF. So we need to put EF right over top of that. All right. Now we can use two, any other. We have, well, we have to use this side because we got the number. So what side, what's this one? I need the letters. Z-Y. W and Z, right? Or ZW. Let's put W, Z. Okay. W and Z is the first and the last here. So we got to use the first and the last here, E-H. See what I'm doing? I just matched up the numbers. You with me, Helsley? All I did was match up the numbers. E and the F goes with W-X, right? Now it turns into puzzle math. Just put the pieces in the puzzle. All right, let's start with uh, EF. Do we know how long that is? Mm -hmm. Where is EF? 30. Let's put a 30 there. Well, WX, that's what we're looking for, isn't it? F so that's our, that's our variable, right? All right, how about EH? Where's EH? 20. 20. That's where 20 goes. And Oops. 5. WC is this five, guy, five. so he's five. 
we should all be able to do this, right? Always start with the letter. So we got 20 X's equals five times, I know that's 150. Somebody help me out here. Seven point five. Seven point five, right? Inches. This one's four times bigger, isn't it? Because four times five is twenty. Four times that is thirty. It's four times bigger. Similar figures. We take one more step. Do you know? about angles inside here, right? This is an, if, if this is an angle, this is an angle. Do you know what all four of them add up to in a quadrilateral? A circle? What's it mean to go all the way around, huh? 360. What? They have to add up to 360. Do you know what it means if I just put one, this one's got one line and this one's got one and this one's got two and this one's got two? What's that mean? What's that mean? Brian, what would it mean? Is this one the same as this one? No. no, this is the same, isn't it? So let's say this one here is um, 100 degrees. That means this one's 100 degrees. Because they're the same. If these are 200, the whole thing's got to add up to 360, doesn't it? That means these two have to be 80 each. If you add them all up, it's 360. Now look at this guy, it's smaller, isn't it? But it's similar. What's this angle? How many degrees? Okay, see? She'll jump right off the board and tell you, Adrian. 100. If they're similar, I don't care if this thing's only this big. That little angle, it's hard for y'all to see. That angle in that corner, W and E. E is the first letter. W is the first letter. If E is 100 degrees, W is 100 degrees. That little rascal right there would be a hundred degrees if it was similar, right? Size doesn't matter. As long as it says they're similar, that angle angle is a hundred. That means that's a hundred. And eighty. And eighty. Yeah. They always have to add up to 360, right? Let's go back over here. What does a triangle add up to? Someone tell me what a triangle adds up to. How many degrees? Come on, it's not going to be 360, is it? Because it's only got 180. 180. Yeah, these got to add up to 180. So let's say I do this. If I tell you this one here is um, 70 and this one is 60, Somebody tell me what that one's got to be. 30. How'd you get that? I added 60 and 70 together. That's 130. And they all have to add up to? Mm -hmm. 180. Oh, 180. 180 so minus 130. So it's 50. This one here is 50 degrees. Yep. Linden. 
what's angle Z on the other little one over there? Because they're similar, right? I'm telling you this triangle, ABC, is similar to this little triangle. How about angle Z? What would it be? 60. How much? 60. How'd you get that? Z is the last letter. C is the last letter. You can't go by the corner. You got to match them letters up. Cause I'm telling you what's gonna happen. I'm gonna erase. I'm not gonna erase it. You're gonna. I'm gonna give you something like this one day and say this is A B C, and um, I'm gonna tell you triangle A B C is similar to triangle X Y Z, and then I'm gonna turn it upside down. <laughs> I'm going to spin it all around, right? So you can't really tell which, which ones go together now, can you? Unless you look at the letters. B is the same as Y. y. So this one, whatever it is, is the same as this one. Make sense? Same way up there. I could flip that thing around or upside, you know. you got to match those letters up. That's why we make this to make sure we get our numbers in the right spot. Yeah. I just want y'all to see that. We're not going to jump right in with both feet today. But um, remember, you always have a big one and a little one to compare to. Match the letters up. Match the letters up. And... Um, we can find the missing side, right? So what we're going to be doing next week, first couple of days, shouldn't take too long because you already know about proportions. It's just a matter of setting up the problem, right? Bye. Math video. Bye.